Um, well, part, part of fully absorbed, I had attention to detail. That might be related to that. Yes, uh, if you look at everything God has ever made, it has so many multiple roles. It has so many multiple characteristics. It is intricate in detail. Even, the, even single cell living structures are, uh, are intricate in detail. Mankind still has a lot of trouble understanding how they actually operate. Um, and so God gives attention to every single little tiny thing. God was so, gives attention. You think of things that we just swat with our hand, like an insect, that, or a mosquito comes along and we just even without thinking, you know, and it's gone. God knew, God felt the life of that insect disappear. God also, um, and return to God, in fact, and God also f felt w what we did in the sense of understanding, when I say understanding what we did, God felt the action. And it doesn't. He, God doesn't have any judgment about the action, of course. But he felt it. He, he understood what happened in his universe just then. Right? And if you look at the insect itself, what a small little creature um, to look at and examine. And yet, the only time we generally look at a mosquito is when we're just about to hit it. <laughs> Does that make sense? With God, God gave enough attention to detail with it to create it, and not not only that, create it with a purpose. So that's a part. That's a part of it too. Something happening up there. It's a bird, it's a bird is it? <laughs> so, so what I love about what God has done is God has created all of those creations in intricate detail with with a with a focus and attention on it, with a, with an intention involved from God as well for that particular thing to have a purpose, and and God has made every single thing God has made so intensely intricate um, and that there's got to be something in that about love and and when you look at it yes love does look at the intricate involvement of things and love plans for every possible contingency as well and so love uh, love is often very very logical as a result of that so you would say attention to detail comes under love certainly but also comes under truth and power i feel the more powerful you become the more ability you have to have, a, have attention to smaller details. Because you're not all wrapped up in you're the big You're not all wrapped picture. up in the big picture all the time. And in fact, you see the intricate detail and how it supports the big picture. So for example, when I examine the environment, for example, I, I see the soil and I see the, the insects and I see them as primary parts of the intricate nature of what God has created. I see any living organism as, a, as having intelligence and those, so therefore needing to be a part of any system. And, and, and yet the average person, when they think, oh, do you want to go and create a garden? Well, let's bulldoze the place or let's dig holes here or let's push over this tree here and let's create what we want without any attention to the soil oftentimes or uh, often the soil because they have to, but definitely not the insects. Most people just totally ignore what happens to them completely. And God doesn't. God created them. God created them all for a purpose and God defined that purpose in an intricate manner. So therefore God, you know, obviously is very interested in them and interested in their purpose. And the more connected with God I become, the more interested I, I am in the smallest of creatures as well as the largest, the human soul. And if God didn't show attention to detail on creating the universe, something would go horribly wrong, wouldn't it? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's the other thing, is that when you look at the universe, and, and a lot of people would argue that the universe has gone horribly wrong, and I can't agree, because all I see is the, the things that I've observed going wrong have all been because of what man has created, not because of what God has created. And we, at some point, need to come as mankind or womankind, we need to, at some point, say, look, this is what we're creating. We're creating things that obviously are out of harmony with love, obviously out of harmony with creating joy and peace and ha happiness, and in harmony with creating pain and suffering. And we need to stop, and we need to understand that a part of God's nature is to not do that. You know, so any time we see ourselves creating something that's out of harmony with love, out of harmony with joy, out of harmony with beauty, out of harmony with any of the other things we've listed as a part of God's nature, we need to, we need to go, hmm, Yes, I can see I'm out of harmony and I just need to stop 
I need to stop this creation for whatever reason. The reason might be because I want to transport myself from one place to another. Whatever. I need to stop these creations, you see. And the more in harmony I get with God, the more in harmony I'll get with that place where I'll be able to learn how to do things differently and desire to learn how to do things differently so that they're all in harmony with love.